I'm Pat Huntoon from Technique Junkies. Today we're going to make this cute little card using Technique Junkie stamps, distress sock sidings, a colorful life stencil, and art anthology fairy dust. Come play along with me. For today's tutorial, we're going to be using the Ranger Distress Oxide inks in Ice Spruce, Fired Brick, and Wilted Violet. We're also going to be using a colorful life stencil called Zen Tangled Dots. It's a lovely stencil with a lot of areas to color in. In addition, we're going to be using just a plain old water mister, um, a heat tool, and a non-stick craft sheet. What you start with is a the distress ink. I'm using the ice spruce here and I'm pressing pretty firmly. The ink is suspended in the ink pad, so you have to press firmly on your craft mat to get the ink onto the craft mat fully. A nice thick application of color is what you're looking for. If I was using distress inks, regular distress inks, these would be translucent. But as you can see already, they're quite opaque. I'm going to be adding water to these and you can see how it goes from being opaque to even more brilliant and vibrant. The water really brings the color up. Then I'm taking Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock in um, and, and I'm dipping it into the color. I'm not dragging it through the color because if you do, then you get a dragged look. And we're not really looking for that. We're looking to put the color on top of this cardstock by dipping it into the color and then layering it on top of one another. And that's the beauty of Distress Oxide inks is that the colors lay together. Normally you would not per put red and purple together because it would create brown. But by having colors that layer on top of one another, as they are here, they blend beautifully. Now I have a big white spot right through there, so I'm just going to keep dipping that spot until I get it colored the way I want. The full cardstock should be colored. I'm going to wipe that down, take that color off of there. Normally I would put that on another product, but project, but I'm just going to uh, put it down like that. So that's the, the first part of this finished piece. I'm going to take the Zentangled Dot Stencil for, by A Colorful Life and I'm going to tack that down using painter's tape. I'm going to put it down nice and firm on there so it's held down to the cardstock and then I'm going to just uh, use the uh, Vintage Photo Distress Ink, Distress Oxide Ink and I'm going to sponge that through my stencil and as you can see I'm using a, uh, a sponge rather than the blending tool. The blending tool would probably work a little bit better. It would work great, but I am actually using um, my sponges because that's what I had on hand. I'm using the, the vintage photo, and then I'm moving on to the iced spruce with another color, and then I'm literally going to be turning my sponge around, and I'm going to be using vintage, I'm sorry, wilted violet on the remaining portions that I want colored. So I've sped this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me in real time. There's a lot of color there on that stencil. But I'm going to activate this with Art Anthology Fairy Dust instead of using water. It has the same effect. It'll bring the color up, but it'll add quite a bit of mica and shimmer to this finished piece. I have a lot of color on there, so I'm going to take a piece of craft cardstock and I'm going to use my finger brayer. Yes, that's my finger brayer. And I'm going to press it down onto the craft cardstock. I'm going to save that for a later use. I'm going to dry it with a heat tool and save it for a later use. Now I'm just going to hit that real quick with a paper towel so I don't get it all over myself and remove the stencil from the, the background. Now look at how beautiful and shimmery that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? I'm going to heat that very quickly with the heat tool and then I'm going to take this entire piece and put it in my misty. I'm lining it up with the corner and then I'm going to use my Rain Dance Girl stamp. I'm going to place her in there and then press her down against the lid. I'm going to use the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink and ink it. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water to that um, and heat it so that we get a, it, the color comes back up again. Then I'm going to be using Dance in the Rain. That's going to go over the top. I'm attaching that to the top of my listy by playing, placing it down on the cardstock where I want it and lifting the listy, misty lid up. I'm adding some stays on ink. I could use any permanent ink here, but because this piece is still a little bit damp, I want to use stays on so that it turns out perfect. So I'm just going to close my lid. I'm going to stamp my Dance in the Rain stamp, and then I am going to um, be able to dry and layer this piece. So I'm going to lift this lid up, and there we go. 
it's move my, my magnets around for you. And as you can see, it's really beautiful on this whole piece. Um, now I'm just going to layer this piece. I'm going to use those same sponges and I'm going to just blend the ink around the edges of the cardstock piece. As you can see, these inks blend so beautifully on these pieces. If I had any spot that looked like a, a brush mark, I could just go right back over it again. I'm going to take the wilted violet and I'm going to go around the edge of the craft cardstock layering piece that I've <coughs> pre-made. Uh, I'm going to mm, go around the whole thing and then I'm going to layer this piece together by putting it on black and then putting it on a piece of craft paper. As you can see, I've got a little bit of curl to this cardstock. Normally I would flatten that out before I start, but I, what I'm going to do here is just add a very strong piece of uh, ATG tape around the edges. I'm going to put it on my black piece right now and press it down firmly. And then I'm going to take my ATG and put that on the, the uh, craft cardstock piece. I put it on there a little crooked the first time, so I had to peel it off and put it back again. That's why I love ATG. You can do that once and then press it down. And then I'm just going to put that on a piece of white cardstock. And that is the finished piece. I'm really thrilled with this piece. I really love the way it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video from Technique Junkies and will join us for a future installment of tutorials on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.